Previously on Jurassic World. Ladies and gentlemen, the very first dinosaur to ever be brought back from extinction, Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dino, you do realize that's not the first dinosaur to be brought back to life. Waffle here announced bringing back dinosaurs, and he opened a Jurassic Park full of all kinds of dinosaurs. What? No, he didn't. It's true. Most of us came to the announcement from the park. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. and there's supposed to be free punch and pie. And I don't see any free punch and pie, Dr. Dino. Where's the punch and pie? The punch and pie was alive. Hashtag punch and pie line. I challenge you to a dinosaur battle. My T-Rex versus your little stegosaurus or whatever you have. <laughs> Bring it. I came prepared. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it is a nice day here in the village. And today, it looks like we have a dinosaur battle between the Waffle Galaxy and Dr. Dino. That's right, Jim. Dr. Dino is outraged Waffle rightfully took credit for being the first person to bring back dinosaurs and making him look like a fool in front of his whole village. Now, he's challenged Waffle to a dinosaur battle. Yes, indeed, Bob. Both Dr. Dino and Waffle look like they will be battling some T-Rexes. You know, these things look a lot larger in person than you'd expect. Yes, much louder and more ferocious, too. Who do you think is going to win this one, Jim? Well, I honestly can't say for sure. I've never seen a T-Rex fight another T-Rex before, that's for sure. But if I had to make a choice, I'd put my money on Waffle's T-Rex. Apparently, his T-Rex is a lot older and likely has more experience, while Dr. Dino's T-Rex is likely still very young. Well, me personally, I think Dr. Dino's got this one in the bag. His T-Rex grew up in the nether, so maybe his T-Rex is a lot more aggressive because of that. Good point, Bob. But it was also locked in a cage all its life. Yeah, and so was Waffle's T-Rex. But his was locked in a much larger cage along with other T-Rexes. That's true. Both T-Rexes come from very similar yet different backgrounds. It will be very exciting to see who wins. So, hey Bob. Jim. You wanna put some money on your bet? Oh, you bet I do. What emerald? Make it two. Deal. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the battle is about to begin. The Waffle Galaxy versus Dr. Dino, the very first televised dinosaur battle in the history of the universe. Are you ready, Choppy? Let's win this thing! Just bite his T-Rex. Just bite it until it stops moving. Then we'll win, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Then we'll win. And the battle has begun. Waffle's T-Rex charges towards Dino's T-Rex and gets the first hit out on it. And Dino's T-Rex retaliates with a big bite out of Waffle's T-Rex. Waffle's T-Rex is just chopping away at Dr. Dino's T-Rex. I guess that's why he called his T-Rex Choppy Jim. You've got that one right, Bob. Dino's T-Rex looks like he's starting to succumb to Waffle's T-Rex. It looks like he still has some in him, Bob. He's a real trooper. Dino's T-Rex is taking a lot of damage here, Jim. It doesn't look like there's much before this match is over. I'm right there with you, Bob. Dino's T-Rex is very low on health and could go down any second now. And there it is, Jim. Waffle's T-Rex wins the dinosaur battle. His T-Rex looks really worn out, though. I hope he can make it. I don't know, Jim. If Waffle's T-Rex dies after the match, that'll be a draw and I won't owe you two emeralds. Oh, don't you dare try to get out of this one, Bob. You're giving me those two emeralds. Anyway, thank you ladies and gentlemen for tuning in to the very first ever televised dinosaur battle. I'll just be taking my two emeralds now, Bob. Huh, for a chance. Wow, great job, Chompy. We did it. Oh, no, you didn't. You didn't win. I can't lose. Get over here, you stupid T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chompy, you did a pretty good job today. You can just come in here and you can rest. Come here, come here, sit down, Chompy. There you go. You need to take some rest. You took quite the beating out there, and it looks like you're already up to full health again, so that's good, but you know what? You didn't have to... Oh, whoa, there's a cow right there. <laughs> you didn't have to kill Dr. Dino. You know that, right, Chompy? You didn't have to kill him, but... You did a good job nonetheless. It was self-defense, and you did a good job. You really showed him. Anyways, I guess now that the whole Dr. Dino stuff seems to be over, like, I guess we can just continue doing what we need to do. So, wow, that really frees up a lot of our time. So, 
We were going to work on making the base or the, the lab completely 100% quartz. Now, we do still have, uh, still have a lot of quartz in here that we can just throw inside of the pulverizer or the, uh, the enrichment chamber. So where is all the actual quartz block? Yep, we put it inside there. Is there any more quartz that we have? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, so let's go throw all these uh, the, all this quartz back into the enrichment chamber. Let's get ourselves a ton of quartz. But in the meantime, we need to replace all the all the stone and all that stuff that we already have here. So I think I'm going to break all this stone and break all the walls down and, you know, really make this place look spiffy diffy with all this quartz. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, so my lab is starting to take shape right now. Uh, unfortunately, the enrichment chamber is taking quite a while to get all this stuff nice and uh, nice and enchanted or uh, enriched or whatever, getting all that extra quartz and stuff. So it's taking quite a while to actually get all the quartz block. Uh, I did break all of the blocks I need to replace, though. So I just need to wait for all the quartz to just smelt, and then I can just make the blocks and just fill it in like so. So uh, I believe up here on the surface, I did see a bit of the... Yeah, right here. We're going to need to fill that, fill that in with a little bit of dirt, just so it doesn't stick out a little bit. So uh, that looks kind of weird, you know? Maybe I can uh, terraform it? I don't know. I, I don't like it being like flat like that. Ooh, and this too. I need to fix that too. I should probably put some acacia right there, and uh, some, what is that, jungle? Yeah, I'll put some jungle there as well, make it look a little bit better, make it look like my house doesn't just sit on dirt. <laughs> so uh, I think I have some, yeah, I have one piece of acacia I had to break down there, so let's just place that right there. And we should have a little bit of acacia up here, yep, there we go, I just need one more of those, and a little bit of jungle, so... Let's just fill this in, make it look all nice. Ooh, that's like really dark right there. <laughs> Alright, there we go, ooh, I need one more piece of acacia. Let's just grab last piece of acacia. There we go. And this is going to look dank and banging as heck. So let's get back down to our lab. Let's go check up. Ooh, and uh, I had to break this right here. And uh, some water just started pouring down to my lab. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like right now. And uh, I, I feel like it's a really big improvement. Maybe in the future I can get like chiseled uh, quartz and stuff. You know, make it look uh, a little bit less plain and flat like this. Give it a little bit more character in the future. But for right now... Uh, while I'm still filling all this in, it is looking fantastic, no joke. Let's just get a rest of this quartz and let's just start filling in this back area right here. There we go, alright, I guess we can just wait for all the quartz to continue smelting. I'll just throw a little bit more of that in there. And then uh, right now, uh, we can go work on, where is the pulverized, oh, here we go, pulverized cobalt, a little bit of iron right there. Where is our... We have a little bit of, uh, what is it called? Ardite. We have some Ardite as well. We need to combine that with the Cobalt, and that will get us the Mana Lilidin, or whatever it's called. So, uh, I got some comments saying I should make a Cobalt, uh, Cleaver, but I don't know how much better that might be, or I don't know how much better a Mandolin Cleaver might be compared to a Cobalt one. But for right now, let's just throw the Ardite into the Pulverizer and let it work its thing. So, let's actually look that up while that's working. Uh, Ardite, is there a Cleaver here? Yep, there's a Cleaver right there. Stonebound. 5,700 durability, 7 hearts of attack damage, so let's look up uh, Cobalt as well, Cobalt, so it's 5,300 health, 6,300, yep, that's a lot better than Ardite, and uh, same damage, okay, same damage, chance to be head is 20%, but that's uh, that's to be expected with a cleaver, effective durability is 78, uh, 78, 75, I assume that's with like, what, an emerald or something, you can give it like a 500 health boost, and then something else will give it more, uh, more hardness, maybe some obsidian or something, I think. But uh, let's go look up the manolin. Man, uh, here's the purple stuff. Where is it? Manny, Manny Yolin. There we go. So let's see, 13,000. Yeah, I don't know what that guy was talking about. This one has way more durability. Look at that, 13,000 durability. The same amount of uh, same amount of damage, though. Uh, let's check up on the where's the rapier at? There it is right there. Five attack damage. Uh, 1600 durability. Ooh, yeah. I don't think the extra attack speed of the rapier is anywhere near the insane amount of damage and the insane amount of health that the uh, the cleaver gives you. Jeez, that's a ton. Ooh, there's uh, there's some artite right there. So we can combine that in the induction smelter, I believe. Right? Is that uh, is that what you do? Combine it in the induction. How do you make mandolin? Uh, I know. I think you have to make mandolin dust before you can make a. Uh, the ore? Oh, you just make it in the in the crafting thing. I thought you had to put it in the induction smelter. Okay. Well, there we go. And hey, look at that. We got some mail and dust. Not bad at all. And I think you put this into a furnace, right? And that gives you the ingots, right? Yep. Yep, yep. There we go. Look at that. What do you know? And we need to go throw this into the smeltery and, uh, you know, melt it down. Actually, we could have probably done... Yeah. We probably could have just put the dust in there, right? I don't know if you have to put the dust in there or the ingots. But uh, we need to go make the cleaver... 
shape, the cleaver sword, uh, the big sword shape, this thing right here. We can get one of those large blade pattern. And is there anything else you need to make a cleaver? Where's the cleaver at on this? I know you need like two large plates or whatever. So I kind of want to make the whole thing. No, two large uh, tough rods and one large plate. Okay, let's get the, uh, there's that. There's a large stone plate. And let's get the blade and the tough rod. We're going to make it all out of metal. And so we're going to get an absolutely insane weapon here. So where is, uh, there's some more artite. And let's just uh, make some more metal. And so we have only six ingots right now. Maybe we'll need, pff, I don't know, a dozen ingots just to be safe. So let's, uh, let's get ourselves a pretty good amount of this stuff. Uh, let's go up to 12. That way we have 18. And we can just throw them all into a smell. Oh, wait, there's a little bit right there already. Hmm. Okay, well, let's split that in half. Let these furnaces smelt them real quick, and we're up to that dozen. So let's go over there to the smelter. Let's try and make ourselves an insane melon cleaver. This is going to do such insane damage, especially with all the quartz we're getting right now. We're going to give so much quartz to that thing. It's going to get so sharp. And let's see some baked potatoes. Actually, let's throw it inside of here first. Uh, we have yeah. Okay, it's just a little bit of iron and nuggets, or a little bit of iron and copper. Oh man, I need to eat some baked potatoes. Mmm, delicious stuff. All right, so. What we need to do now is, uh, we need to go grab some gold, of course. Is there any gold inside? Yeah, we have a little bit of gold inside of there. So we can make the cast out of gold. Let's put the blocks inside of there, let those smelt. Hopefully it doesn't, I think it might combine with the copper to give us, uh, something. But I don't know quite what it'd give us, so. Let's just get those, uh, nice and cleaned out and put the tough rod, the blade, and the, and the large plate. Let's put that there, and there's the blade, and let's get rid of that, and put down the tough rod, so. Once that gold is nice and smelted, we'll be able to make ourselves some casts for the mandolin cleaver and, you know, regular cleavers in general. So, uh, there we go. Molten mandolin. Good stuff. Let's, uh, let's get that gold at the very bottom. Let's make ourselves these casts, shall we? And it looks like our casts are completely done right now. Fantastic. All right. So, oh, wait, why did I get rid of them? I don't need to get rid of them. I just need to pour some mandolin down into them. So let's just uh, tell the mandolin to go at the bottom, 13 ingots, hopefully it's enough. I know the big uh, large plate takes up a lot of mandolin, look at that, I think that's like 9 nine, uh, nine ingots right there, so that's an absolute ton. I hope it's enough, if not, then I don't know. Uh, okay, so we have the tough rod, we need two of those. Uh, let's see, do we have enough to get another tough rod? Nope, nope, we don't have enough. Oh man, let's go back now, actually, uh, yeah, we need to go back down to the lab, because that's where our stuff is smelting in the redstone furnace so let's go gather all the stuff out of the redstone furnace four more ingots and five more that should be way more than enough i don't think we're going to have any problem making this mandolin thing now we're going to get such good damage we're, i kind of want to go like maybe even to the end maybe go spawn a wither or something kill something insanely epic with this awesome tool man that's going to be insane Ooh. also from end of earth there was a bow uh where is it at there is a bow a really good bow it was like a charged bow or something and we were able to kill stuff really insanely epic with that, so I don't know if it's in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, uh, but it does have an electric bow from Mechanism, but that's not the same one I had. Ah, Sour. Man, I really like that bow from End of Earth. It was really good. I forgot what it was called, but it was a really, really good bow. All right, well, I guess we'll just wait for the mandolin to smelt, and I'll see you guys here in a bit once we get our insanely epic parts. All right, the mandolin is pouring down into the blade itself, and I think, yep, there we go, it's done. How many do we have left over? Ooh, it actually used up all the mandolin we had. Wow. All right, well, let's go down to the tool forge, or the, no, the tool forge, and let's go make this insanely epic mandolin cleaver that's going to do such juicy damage to everything. <laughs> so let's see, uh, where's the clear? There's a cleaver right there. One giant plate, two tough rods, and there is the mandolin cleaver. 13,000 durability. I don't think it has any uh, any any slots to upgrade it right now, so actually, let's see. Uh, do we have any quartz? Yeah, we don't have any quartz in our inventory. Oh, that's a lot of quartz right there. Uh, let's see, is it possible for us to upgrade this, or do we need to, uh, yeah, 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 it looks like we need to add another perk, and I think you do that with a gold block and a diamond, maybe? I'm not a hundred thousand billion percent sure, but let's get ourselves a diamond, and let's get ourselves a gold block, and let's go see if we can unlock another perk. I know it's something like this, and I think you can get another one by getting a, uh, another star and combining it with it? I'm not a hundred billion percent sure, but, uh, there you go. And modifiers remaining one. Okay, so we can give this thing a ton of sharpness, 
Uh, hmm, yeah, yeah, let's give it sharpness, let's give it sharpness, it's gonna give us an absolute ton of damage, so, we're up to 15 attack damage right now, which is 7.5 hearts, and, uh, we're, the baseline is 7 hearts, so this is gonna get us an insane amount of damage once we give all this, all this course to this mandolin cleaver, man, it's gonna get a ton of damage here in a bit, let's see, what's it up to right now, 16 attack damage, not bad, uh, all, it goes all the way up to 72, so we're halfway there right now, it might go all the way up to 18, maybe, maybe 17 and a half, or something man it's gonna be insane either way because it was baseline 14 attack damage and right now oh wait we're out of quartz it was baseline at 14 attack damage and we're up to nine hearts so we're up to 18 right now let's go grab ourselves a little bit more quartz and let's go combine it with the mandolin cleaver and get ourselves an insanely powerful cleaver so what are we up to 70 uh we can add two more quartz and there we go 9.5 hearts up to 19 attack damage man that is insane that's way too much skill level is clumsy though i don't know what that skill level thing means uh it, it's pretty new to me i've never seen that before uh, apparently this one's comfortable maybe that's uh how much i've used it skill xp is zero out of 3200 Skill XP for this is uh, 500 out of 1500. Maybe, yeah, I think that might be uh, based on how much I've used it. Hmm, okay. Well, what is this up to? Just clumsy? 1000 out of 2500? Really? Why is it clumsy? I don't know why it's clumsy. I've been using these things for like a million years. Hmm, whatever. Well, anyways, this is up to 19 attack damage. I don't think we're going to have any problem killing stuff in the future, so... Man, that's going to be absolutely awesome trying to kill stuff with this thing. I kind of want to go to, like, the nether. Maybe go to the end. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we need to go to the nether if we want to go to the end, because we need blaze rods for uh, Eye of Ender. But, uh, man, this is going to be insane. Let's go over here. Let's make ourselves a chest for... Oh, wait, we already have a chest. Yeah, we already have a chest for the, for the stuff here. Whoops, I thought we didn't have a chest. Oh, wait. Uh, I need those ingot casts, and I need to come over here and replace them back into here. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. And God, give me the ingot cast. Give me the ingot cast. There we go. Oh, whoa, it's pouring down gold. Whoops. Now I have, what is that going to be? A gold plate? Really? Just a blank cast? It's like, <laughs> it's just a blank gold plate. I didn't know you could do that. Well, that's kind of interesting. Well, anyways, I guess we can just throw that back inside of there, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's good. Well, let's just, uh, wait, what do we just do right there? Oh, <laughs> let's just throw these casts that we're not going to be using back inside of there. And, uh, there you go. All right. So let's go back to our lab. Let's go work on some more stuff. We still have some quartz smelting. We had a lot of quartz back down there, so we should be able to, uh, finish converting the lab into all clean quartz right now. Look at all that quartz. That's a ton. <laughs> all right. So let's make one quartz block and let's do this to auto crap. Whoa. What was that? Pure nether quartz? Hmm. What? That's the only recipe you can- Okay, there we go. Alright, so we have a whole stack right there. I think that should be way more than enough to finish this. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, we might need a little bit more quartz. Might need to do one more craft if we want to completely finish this. But for right now, this is actually turning out really, really good. Look at this. Oh, we need to place down another torch. I think I broke a torch whenever I was cleaning out the walls. So there we go. This wall is completely done. Look at that. It looks fantastic. The ceiling is almost done. There we go. And I think the whole thing's done now. Wow, look at that. Uh, the only thing is, is that like right there, there's a little bit of disgustingness. Maybe I can break that real quick. Uh, there we go. Place those. There we go. Place those. And uh, I can't really reach down there. But that's what it, our lab looks like right now. Ooh, there's a little bit of dirt right there. That looks disgusting with our ladder. Oh, wow, that broke it so fast. Gee. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have any uh, jungle wood? Yeah, I think we used it all. I guess we'll just use quartz for this ladder right there. And let's get our ladder. where the ladder go? Oh, there it is. And let's finish our ladder. So there it is right there. This is what our lab looks like. So whenever we want to go down, we just go down this ladder. And here we are in the brand new clean lab. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of cobblestone. Uh, meh, you're not really going to see it from there. Uh, uh, if I want to clean it up, I can do it later. But if anything, the staircase could be cleaned up. I could probably uh, go throw some uh, cobblestone into the furnaces, get some smooth stone, and make this thing look a little bit better. But for right now, the lab itself looks fantastic. Look at that. Well, we do have a lot of... Well, where would all the quartz go? Oh, yeah, I guess I turned it all into blocks. <laughs> there we go. We only have, uh, what, 14, 15 blocks of quartz left over. And a little bit more right there. Do we have a... Uh, yeah, we still have some uh, quartz ore right there. So let's just go throw those in there real quick. And uh, yeah, I guess we can just work on the next project real quick. And that was... Uh, oh yeah, someone commented 
saying that I should go get those donkeys that I mentioned like a million episodes ago. You know, I was going to go look for like cows and stuff to kill to get some meat, and then I found a bunch of donkeys, a bunch of horses and stuff over there, so might as well go wrangle some horses, right? It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, sugar cane. Where's that go? Is that going there? Oh, whatever. It's going there now. <laughs> and these blank patterns. Yeah, I can put that inside there. And I don't really need these patterns. I should probably get a pattern chest. For right now, eh, I guess I can put them in the wood chest. Meh. Meh. It's nothing. And I guess we might as well retire our old steel rapier. We've had that thing for quite a while, and... Ah. It's hard to let go of that thing. It's killed so many things over the weeks. <laughs> But our mandolin cleaver is going to kill so much more, so much faster. All right, well, I just clean out my inventory, and we might as well. Uh, iron horse armor. I don't know. Should we? Uh, I don't know if we should ride it back and just walk over there and ride back the doggy. Or, ooh, I think we might be able to. Ooh, how many leads do we have? We have like five or six. Yeah, we have five of them right now. Ooh, let's go get ourselves some donkeys. We should get ourselves at least two of them. That way we can breed them together and get more donkeys. And breed them together with regular horses. So maybe we can get like a super breed of mules. Get some like Skyrim horse looking horses over there. And get some really good fast high jumping mules or something. I don't know if that's how breeding will work with horses. But let's go over there. I know it's just over this hill. So let's go over here. And let's go gather ourselves some donkeys. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I want to use these donkeys as, like, utility donkeys or just having as, like, God, come on, Skyrim Horse, you can do better. There you go. I don't know if I actually want to use these donkeys because we do have, you know, a backpack and a, and a, oh, no, whoa, no, not the quicksand again. Get that quicksand out of here. Whoa, come on. Whoa, why can't we break the quicksand with our excavator? Come on, break the quicksand. No, no, Skyrim Horse. Wow, this is really deep quicksand. Usually it's not this deep. Jeez. Oh, no, it goes down to a ravine. Oh, that is surefire death. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Oh, oh. man, we were surely going to die and fall down into that ravine right there, Skyrim Horse. Good thing I saved the day. All right, let's get out of here, Skyrim Horse. Come on, come on. Jump 10 more feet in the air and you can do it. Ah, there you go. Good job, Skyrim Horse. All right, so it's just over here, I believe. Uh, it should be. Oh, we just walked over a cave casually. Uh, if not, we do still have a waypoint set for us, so it should be in this general area, maybe... Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I know where it is. <laughs> Let's go activate our waypoint for it. So donkeys, there we go. Let's just see where... Oh, it's all the way... Whoa, I was nowhere near where those donkeys were. Whoa, 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 whoa. Only half hard damage right there? That's a pretty good Skyrim horse. Not even taking any damage. You don't even care. You don't even care. All right, so the donkeys are just right over there, so I will see you guys here in a bit once we get to those donkeys. We have arrived at the secret horse pasture. So many breeds of horses. There's horses, brown horses with black speckles, and uh, and brown horses with white speckles, and even white horses with black speckles, and even gray horses with white speckles, and even plain brown horses. Wow, there's so many horses here, Skyrim horse. Oh, look at that, there's a... There's a horse over there that's like brown with like cow-shaped stuff. <laughs> and here we go. Here are the donkeys in the exact same spot that we left. A Whoa, what is that hat? What is that? What is that? What is that horse wearing on his butt? Ooh, look at that. He's got like a lightsaber. Whoa, whoa. Man, I wish I wish Skyrim horse had a hat. Are there any more horses around here that... Whoa, whoa, that is a meteor. Are there any more horses that may... Oh, there's black horses over there. Any horses that have a hat? Ooh, what's that one have? That's a pretty interesting hat. What is that hat? Is that a propeller hat? <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Man, is there any... Ooh, there's even white horses over here. Ooh, that's really good looking. Is there any... Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any other horses. Oh, there's a regular horse right there. But, uh, oh, there's a black one over there. It looks like a cow. Well, I guess we might as well use our lead to grab all these donkeys, right? Uh, should we... T uh, I don't think we should tame them right now. Maybe we should tame them once we get back home. So let's see, where are the... Oh, and there we go. Oh, wait, whoops. Let's grab our lead back. There you go. Tie you back up. Let's grab this donkey again. I don't know if all of them are adults. I think that one right we just got. That one. Yeah, that one definitely looks younger, so I don't think uh I don't think we can make that one yet. But uh hmm. Let's see, where's that kid donkey at? Get over here, donkey. What are you doing? Get over here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Come on up the hill. Why is he not jumping up? Where where is he going? Come on over here, donkeys. Man, it's gonna be pretty hard getting these donkeys back home. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, uh, would it be easier if I tamed him? Hmm, 
I guess I could try and tame him, see if it'd be any easier. We can't tame the kid though, because he's too young. But uh, we could try and tame the adults, if they are adults. Oh, yeah, you know, they are. Nice. But uh, there you go, Donkey. E uh, I don't, don't throw me off your back, Donkey. Uh oh, you gonna love me, Donkey? You're gonna love me? Come on, Donkey. Hey, look at that. He loved me. And he still threw me off. Wow. <laughs> That's true love right there. Come on, Donkey. No, no. Come on, your friend loved me. Why can't you love me? Come on, Donkey. Show me some juicy love. God. Come on, Donkey. Don't, don't throw me off. God. Man, you were a lot tougher than your friend over there. Come on. You've got to love me, Donkey. And hearts. Any hearts? No. Man, he's... Oh, there we go. Is he... Oh. Oh, look at that. See, he loved me and he didn't throw me off. Why'd you do it? Jeez, Donkey. So rude. Well, we do have two of them tamed to us. And uh, we can always just mate them in the future. Ooh, there's another Donkey up there. But I think it might be hard enough to get even just two Donkeys back home. So let's try and take these guys back home. I know it'd be pretty tough because Skyrim Horse can scale straight up mountains. And these guys, I don't know if they'd, uh, they'd be able to scale mountains quite as easily as Skyrim Horse. So it's going to be tr quite the challenge to get them back home and, and breed them as well. So uh, maybe we can breed them with Skyrim Horse. Actually, yeah, that was a really good idea. <laughs> I don't know why I was looking for other horses there. But uh, I will go back home and I will see you guys here in a bit when uh, I guess we can put these donkeys in in the little area we had the cows before we moved them, so that would be a pretty good little spot for them. Anyways, I'll see you guys here in a bit once we get home, and we can breed these donkeys together, and breed them with Skyrim Horse too. So I'll see you guys here in a second. Alright, somehow we made it back safely with these donkeys, so let's just uh, throw them inside of here, and uh, put them in the old cow area, and then we can make them breed. Now, I, I haven't bred horses in like forever, I don't even remember what you use. Maybe use apples or something? Or maybe wheat, I don't remember, but we'll figure that out here pretty soon. I think we have a little bit of apples, and uh, of course we have tons of wheat, so I don't think that's going to be any bit of a problem. So let's go inside of here, hopefully that's enough room for- yeah, that should be enough room for them to slip inside there. Come on, donkeys. Come on. Oh, there we go. Good job. Good job. Alright, so- oh, oh, come on, get off Skyrim Horse, and let's take our leads back. There we go, good job. Alright, Skyrim Horse, let's get out of here. Lock them inside, lock them inside, and jump over the fence. I don't know why these guys don't just jump over the fence and escape. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go, uh, let's go put up Skyrim Horse. I don't remember closing these gates behind me. Hmm. Well, either way, let's uh, put up Skyrim Horse and let's see. Okay, so apparently you need a golden apple or a golden carrot. I don't know if it's one or the other or maybe you need both or what, but we do have some golden carrots. So let's see. Yeah, we have a lot of extra golden carrots, so let's go see if it's the golden carrots. If not, then we have a lot of gold and we have a couple of apples. So we can easily make some golden apples, even notch apples too, no problem. So let's see. Yep, yep, there we go. And hey, there we go. You guys going to make a baby donkey? And hey, look at that. We have a little baby donkey. Nice. Look at that. Well, once they're out of uh, out of love mode, and we can uh, activate the love mode again with the golden carrots. I guess we can bring over Skyrim Horse and try and get ourselves a baby mule here in a bit. But uh, in the meantime, we could probably do some other stuff. So, oh yeah, uh, we just bred some donkeys. And uh, by the way, I keep on getting comments. Saying that I should, uh, you know, breed the T-Rexes, breed the Dilophosaurus, breed all these other kinds of stuff. But I don't think you can breed any of these things in this version of Jurassic Craft. So we might have to do that in the future, maybe in a different series if we have a, if we update to the newest version. But for right now, we can't breed any of these dinosaurs. And this version doesn't have an Indominus Rex, so we can't get that either. So unfortunately, this version doesn't let us uh, breed dinosaurs or have the Indominus Rex. So just want to let you guys know. Anyways, uh, I did mention a while ago that we did want to expand the herbivore area and maybe even expand the T-Rex area a little bit this way too, so... Hmm, we should at least go scout out and find out exactly how far we want to expand our herbivore area. Now, we, I did uh, mention that I wanted it to include the meteor, so maybe it'd go all the way out to here-ish? Maybe all the way out to here as well. That would be a huge herbivore area, absolutely huge. We could probably get some more herbivores and uh, to help fill out all that stuff, but uh, let's see. A uh, little bit of cobblestone walls right there, and uh, we can just place the corners of the cobblestone walls just to get it nice and started. But uh, let's go grab a Skyrim horse real quick. We're going to go on a little bit of a journey, Skyrim horse. And uh, let's see, how far do we need to go to expand this thing to include that meteor as well as... Uh, all the way up to- Oh, whoa, 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 don't kill a stream. God. Oh, there's a naked sheep right there still. <sighs> Let's see, we're on the minimap. So it goes out to about here-ish. That's about where I eyeballed it. Maybe past this pond that's like right here. So where does this go? 
Uh, yeah, about, about here-ish, yeah. Because that only includes this whole entire little lake bed right here. So that's pretty good. So let's see, let's measure this out. Where does the wall of the herbivore area come to? So it comes right here to, what is that, uh, negative 1190 on the x-axis? So let's go over here to negative 1190, all the way to where it would include that lake. So let's go, uh, maybe like two or three extra blocks to include the lake. So let's see. The pig's right there, so one, two, three, and then we can put the wall right here. So let's go to negative 1190 and 1527. Negative 1190, 1527, negative 1190, 1527, negative 1190, 1527. There we go. Alright, I don't know which block specific. Oh, let's get you away from that hole, Skyrobors. Oh, I don't want you to fall down there and die. So, 11, negative 1190, 1527, right here. So, this is where the wall is going to come out to. This feels like, uh, let's, let's put it all the way up to, like, here. This feels like a very worthy expansion. Hmm, no joke at all. Oh, you get away from that. You get away from that hole. Get away. No. Oh, oh, we fell in. Oh, but we got out. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so the wall, I think the wall is, like, three, four, five blocks tall. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that, that should be good. All right. Well, there's that. So uh, 1527. And then we'll need to go all the way over here to include that meteor. And maybe all the way up to here. Maybe all the way to where that little ravine right there is. That's going to be a lot of extra room. And uh, that's even going to encompass the very top of that little lake bed right there, too. Hmm. I don't know. That feels like a lot. Maybe only to here-ish? Maybe only, like, to where that meteor is? I don't know, that meteor's pretty dangerous though, we might... Because if any dinosaurs fall down into that meteor, they're, going, they're probably going to die or get stuck there or something, so... Let's just stay on plus 1527 for the Z-axis, just so we know. And uh, where's that meteor at? Oh, the meteor's like right there. Wow, we're really far. Man, this is going to get huge if we expand it all the way out to here. Gee, <laughs> let's see. Uh, yeah, about right here-ish, so 1527. It's, oh man, that's all the way over here. Oh, so let's see, where's 1527? Right here. So if you get, get out of the way, Sky Armors. Get out of the way. Oh, get out of the way. Come on. So there's 1527. And let's see, where's this at? So if we go all the way over here and just expand it, that seems like a pretty big expansion. Yeah. Okay, so what is this? 1363? Okay, 1363. So let's just stay on this line and then cross paths with whatever the Y or the X axis. For this is over here at that wall so let's see was it 1563 was that it i don't know if it was or not i don't remember <gasps> 156 or 1363 let's go right here just in case it is and uh, where's that wall it's like about right here yeah about right here so 1363 all the way to here right about there ish is that the right block uh, let's go down. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so let's see. Let's look at the minimap. Does it even show up on the minimap if I place down like a cobblestone thing? Uh, where is the cobblestone here? Yeah, it doesn't even show it up. I don't even know if it even updates it. Where are you at, Skyrimors? There you are right there. Uh, I guess we can build up a pillar. You know, this really does feel like a really good size expansion. Through two, three, four, five. Nope, oh, nope. Oh, come on, five. There you go. And where did you go, Skyrim Horse? Come on, get away from that river. Get away from that. And I also got some comments saying I should definitely clean up that slime island over there. That looks like really, really disgusting. But uh, maybe I'll do that here in the future. But let's see. Why is there a random cactus out here just in the middle of nowhere? What are you doing next to it, little sheep? You're going to get prickled to death. All right, well, let's go up this wall. And let's see. It goes all the way out to here, right? I just want a million check this. I don't even see. Oh, wow, it's all the way over there. Yeah. So let's see, uh, yep, 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 looks like it's on the right line, so that's good. And uh, I don't know if it's on the right line that way, but either way, eh, eh, I think I have the right idea. Oh, the sheep, oh, look at that, the sheep died. I guess I'll be taking your wool, sheep, no mind if I do. <laughs> All right, well, that should be a pretty worthy expansion. I might work on that here in a bit. Let's see how big these, yeah, look at that, three blocks above the block. That seems to be the limit of that, so that, that's going to be Quite the effort getting rid of all this or uh, filling all that in. I guess we're going to get most of our cobblestone wall from this anyway, but whew, that's going to be really expensive. Oh, and we have this ravine right here, so we should probably wall that off to make sure the dinosaurs don't fall down into that and die. So, and 
ah, should we wall it off or should we just fill it in and make it look like it's never been there this whole time? I think I have enough dirt to completely fill this thing in and make it look like it's never been there. Hmm. Well, that's going to be quite the terraforming uh, job I'm going to have to do here in a bit. Let's go check out the meteor crater. Uh, there's a lot of soul sand down there that we could use for like nether warts and stuff if we even have any. And uh, if we throw, if we put out all the flames, there's a little bit of netherrack here too, which we could use for like, I don't know, making nether blocks or something. I don't know. <laughs> nether bricks, maybe. I don't know. But uh, I think other than that, this seems rather safe for the dinosaurs. It does, it, it does have a little bit of a staircase thing going on, so if they do come down here, they should be able to get out, in theory, pretty easily like this. Like, look at that. That should be pretty. Oh, there's one piece of fire left. But yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's another ravine right here that I have to fill in, too. Uh, no, it's the same ravine. All right. Well, uh, I don't think there's that much terraforming I have to do. Hmm. Yeah, especially because it, it only comes out to, like, what? Oh, where does it go? Does it also include this little ravine right here? Okay, it doesn't include this little ravine. Oh, that's a huge ravine. Even has an abandoned mine down there. Look at that. Hmm. But yeah. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is fill in the walls and see what it looks like with the walls all the way up. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, before I do that, we had something. Oh yeah, we're going to go check up on the donkeys and uh, mate them with Skyrim horse. Let's go do that real quick and see if we can get ourselves a mule, a baby little mule. But uh, while that guy grows up and stuff like that, I can work on this wall and see what it looks like. Maybe even scout out how big the T-Rex area can go. Uh, if anything, the T-Rex area, I guess, uh, it goes out to here. We could probably expand it out to here-ish. Hmm. Yeah, like all the way over to here, that way the Tylosaurus, the Tylosaurus area is probably going to come out to here if we have another row of Tylosauruses. Uh, I do want to check up on them, you know, see how big they're getting, if they're even getting big. But uh, if we have the T-Rexes come out to here, we could probably have another row of Coelacanths like right here or something. Or maybe even Orthocanthuses if it doesn't lag out my game, so maybe that's going to be a little plan here in the future. But uh, right now, let's go back and let's see if we can get ourselves a baby little mule that we can put a little chest on and use that as our little pack mule to carry around little items. Ah, uh, do I have uh, golden carrots on me? No, where, why did I put up the golden carrots? I need those. Let's see, let's get the golden carrots, there we go. And let's check up on our baby little donkey. Oh, I'm hearing a zombie. Oh, we should probably stay away from him. That way, we don't get attacked and he lags out the game by getting all the dinosaurs to go on my side, so. Uh, is this gonna work? Nope, no, nope, no, nope. looks like they're still in post-love mode right now, unfortunately. But uh, I guess in the- Oh, whoops, whoopsie daisy, Skyrim horse. I didn't mean to do that. Now you're gonna be lonely forever. Ah, <gasps> uh, well, let's see. Let's scout this out for the T-Rexes. Uh, hmm, this, this terrain really does not work for the T-Rexes. This little river indent right here. Uh, over here is gonna be good, though. It's nice, big, and flat. Hmm, well, relatively speaking, if it comes out to here, that's gonna essentially double the size, right? Yeah, look at that. It's, it's pretty much going to double the size. And if we keep the same amount of dinosaurs, or the same amount of T-Rexes, it should be a ton of room for them. And then, of course, we're going to expand the, the Tyosaurus out, then maybe add another Coelacanth Aquarium here. And that might be as big as, a t uh, as, big as the park is going to get. Hmm. Well, either way, let's go check up on our donkeys one more time. Hopefully, I can still give Skyrim Horse another go and care. If not, then I'm just going to go work on those walls, and hopefully everyone's going to be nice and out of love by then. And, uh, let's see. I don't think we can, right? Yeah, 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 it still doesn't work. Okay, unfortunately. Well, I think I'm going to go work on putting up those walls, and I will see you guys here in a bit. So. Alright, guys, so I got the expansion nice and done. I guess I might as well show you guys. Let's go grab Skyrim Horse real quick, and see if we can get ourselves a nice little mule. So let's go over to our donkeys. Let's go check up on the donkeys, see if the baby's any big. Uh... It looks like the... Yeah, I guess the baby did grow up. Wow, that was really, really fast. I didn't... I don't even know which one's the... The baby. Wow, look at that. What do you know? Well, I did spend a lot of time expanding over there, so hopefully it actually worked properly. But uh, there you go. And there you go, Skyrim Horse. Give us a mule. Give us a juicy mule. Oh, look at the little mule. Oh, nice. Look at that. And he's like... Uh, he's brown. He looks like Skyrim Horse. I don't know if... Like, there's a possibility of it looking more like a donkey as well, and even if I did have Skyrim Horse, if, like, uh, he had, like, white spots or something, if our mule would also have white spots, I don't know if it has, like, genetics built in or something like that, but that'd be pretty cool, but yeah, look at that, we have a little mule right now, nice! Is he tame to us? Like, uh, do I have to, do I have to feed him 
Do I have to like feed him or uh, not feed him, but do I have to like right click? Uh, I, I think he might be tamed to us. Maybe when he's an adult. Uh, I guess let's go check up over here. Okay, so we ride that donkey, no problem. We ride that one, no problem. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can ride this one. No, no, no. Okay, okay. So I guess the the babies aren't automatically tamed to you because this one's throwing me off of him, and I already tamed the other ones over there. So yeah, yeah. Look at that. So I guess we have to tame the mule whenever he grows up to full adult size. But for right now, that's really cool. We got ourselves a nice little mule. I don't know if we're going to use him very much. Maybe, uh, maybe it's just extra storage if we ever just need it. <laughs> but it'll be pretty cool. I've never had a mule before. There we go. Anyway, Skyrim horse, I'm not going to put you up just yet because we do have some stuff to check out as well as work on that hotel here in a little bit as well but uh, over here I expanded the area I also did a little bit of terraforming just to make it look a little bit better but right here uh, actually let's go inside I think it's a better view from the inside <laughs> but right here uh, there used to be this little river right here and I did a little bit of terraforming this is completely a uh, hollow on the inside so if we dug through this we just dig through like what used to be of that river so it's, it's only for decoration on the outside but it looks pretty good and no dinosaurs should get trapped in there so that's good we have some uh, sheep in here as well so that's pretty cool and uh, some chickens it looked like and bees apparently we've got bees. is that a bee uh, yeah it is a beehive nice and uh, over here of course we expanded the wall and it looks absolutely gigantic yeah look at that you can see the entire perimeter of the thing let's zoom out yeah, look at that. Wow, that's already zoomed out all the way, and it almost takes up the entire screen right there. Gee, look at that. But uh, you can see the perimeter of the entire herbivore expansion. It is gigantic. It's huge. It has a giant lake in here as well that we can probably put some fish inside of. Hey, look at you. What are you doing there, little scientist guy? Uh, you remind me of someone I used to know who no longer, no longer exists. Ah, uh, rest in peace, I guess. Ah, uh, drama. Anyways, it goes all the way over here, of course, wraps around and includes the, uh, the astral or the, uh, the meteor right here. And, uh, yeah, I also have to, ooh, ooh, what? I missed a little bit? Oh, I missed a little bit of a of, of ravine right here. Ooh, I need to fill that in. But I also uh, did a little bit of hollow terraforming right here as well for this ravine. So no dinosaurs can fall down there and get murdered. As well as uh, fill this in with a little bit of that clay. Because there was a little bit of ravine right there as well. So uh, I didn't do straight up terraforming. Just a little bit of... Oh, there's a cave right there I need to patch up as well. Jeez, I have a lot of work to do still. I thought I had this com place completely filled in. But I guess not. Uh, anyways... I also had to get rid of a few cactuses, including our cacti, including the one that murdered that sheep that was like right there. But uh, overall, I think this expansion is fantastic. Uh, it looks like some of the villagers are already coming out here, but look at this. Man, you can barely the the wall over there is in the fog, and we can that one is still really far away. Gee, and I can barely even see that wall. Man, this is huge. Look at that. Anyways, well, there we go. That is the brand new herbivore expansion. We definitely should get some more herbivores to help populate this area. And uh, Mammy the mammoth is, mammoth is sitting down. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. Well, let's just go drop off Skyrim Horse at the uh, at the stable. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, maybe we can work on the uh, the Emerald Hotel a little bit more because I did get some comments suggesting about that little plus sign. So let's, uh, I guess we can just go work on that right now. Uh, I didn't work on the T-Rex expansion, unfortunately, because it took quite a while to get that, uh, the herbivore expansion up, so didn't quite have enough time to do the T-Rex one as well. And we do have some more cobblestone walls we could just put up right there, so there's that. Uh, what are we going, oh yeah, the Emerald Hotel thing, so let's grab ourselves some carpenter's blocks, some slopes, uh, the hammer, of course, and uh, some wood. Yeah, just some wood. And we don't have any other wood. Okay, we don't have any other wood. Okay, whatever. And let's grab ourselves some emeralds, too. So there we go. Uh, I think we did, we... did we just grab some jungle wood? Okay, yeah, we grabbed some jungle wood. That's what we're using to fill in the sides anyways. I guess we can get started on the second floor as well, but... Uh, I do want to work on this emerald right here. Because I did get some comments to make it, like, one more block bigger. That way it kind of looks like an emerald. Hmm, then I guess it'd kind of look like a triple emerald hotel. I don't know. I guess we can just find out and see what it looks like here in a bit. So let's just, uh, pillar ourselves all the way up here. There we go. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, here we go. Just gotta get rid of this. There we go. And make this one block taller. Oh yeah, do we have any stairs? Uh, we don't, but I guess we can make some if we really need to. Uh, yeah, let's make some. There's a crafting station all the way down there, but... Uh, you know what, let's go grab it, let's go grab it. Unfortunately, we don't have an adventure backpack in this mod pack, so I have to actually use crafting tables if I want to craft stuff. Uh, I can't just open up my backpack and 
crap stuff inside of my backpack like I could in End of Earth. Ah, oh, rest in peace. Well, let's, uh, let's make ourselves some more of this carpenter stuff, uh, here in a second. Uh, let's go up here, let's throw down the crafting station real quick, and let's use some jungle wood to get some more of the, uh, how did you do it? Oh yeah, I need a lot of sticks, a lot of sticks. Let's surround one plank with some sticks, there you go. And we use that to make some stairs. Alright, so there's the carpenter block stair, and we still have some emerald. Oh wait, uh, I need emerald blocks, not... Why did I grab emeralds? I need actual emerald blocks. Whoops. Uh, anyways, how are we going to do this? Uh, so we'll have an emerald block here. And then we'll need another emerald, or another, like a, like a sideways stair block. Like this. If we do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we get the hammer and rotate that. So it'd be like, uh, whoops. Whoops, that was wrong. That was, oh, I needed to left click, not right click. Uh, there we go. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's what it needs to look like, so we need to place down another one right here. Uh, is that right? We just need to rotate- yep, yep, there we go. Oh wait, uh... There we go. And then we need another one here at the top, so... Let's just, uh... I guess we can just get rid of this block right here. Oh, no, we just fell down! Uh, well, we're already down here, we might as well go grab those emerald blocks that we need. So, uh... Yeah, it's going to look like an, a tiny little emerald up there. I think it looked pretty good. But as I said earlier, then it'd have three emeralds up there, and technically it wouldn't be a double emerald hotel or a twin emerald hotel, so... I don't know if I like that very much. Let's just grab all the emeralds. Might as well, right? Tons of emeralds, no problem. Let's just go over here, and let's continue working on this thing. See how it'd look. So let's just fill in those blocks we already have with emeralds. And do that. God, an emerald just literally just went flying all the way over there. And then we need a regular stair right there, right? Is that, uh, is that what it looked like? Is that, is that what we'd have? Yeah, look at that, that, that is totally an emerald. That thing looks so, that looks pretty good. Hmm, do you guys like that better than the, uh, than the plus sign? Cause that actually looks like an emerald right there. Uh, do we have an emerald for scale? Eh, it kinda does look like one, right? A little bit, hmm, not bad. But uh, we need to go up there and place down the acacia that goes on the sides of it if we wanna see what it looks like for realsies. So let's just, uh, Get these emeralds out of the way. God, why are those in my inventory? <laughs> Accidentally grabbing emeralds instead of emerald blocks. Alright, let's place down the acacia like so. Whoops. There we go. Acacia. And yeah, that's what it's going to look like. I guess we can bring this up one more block, maybe, if we have to. I don't think we do, though. Hmm. Well, let's just, uh, let's just get on out of here and see what it looks like at the very bottom. So let's see. Yeah, I like that. I really do. I really do like that. It actually looks really good. Now I have a random crafting station up there just sitting there, but you know, I really do like that emerald there in the middle. Hmm. And uh, I guess we can call it the triple emerald or even still keep the twin emerald name, but I really do like that emerald up there. Anyways, I guess we can get started on the second floor. We still need to fill in those windows right there, but I guess I could do that on my own since uh, eh, it's pretty much no work. And these windows right here as well. I still don't know if I like the green color. I really do like the clear glass. Uh, if anything, I did get some comment saying that I should uh, throw some sand into the smeltery and get the clear glass from there. Th that way it won't have the streaks on the glass that kind of get in the way and make it uh, a little bit hard to see through. So let's see if we have any sand. Uh, we have a little... No, we don't really have any sand at all. Whoops. Wait, do we have any glass? What if we throw glass into the smeltery? Is that going to... Is that going to melt down into clear glass? Hopefully it will. And then we can just uh, throw them into or leak them into the block thing and uh, ooh, something it's smelting but what is it going to get us hmm i don't know either way i guess we'll just have to sit here and find out all right it's almost done let's see what we get in here is it going to be molten glass if we get molten glass yep yep there you go okay so i think we're able to get quite clear glass or clear glass or whatever there's like a million different types of clear glass you can get but hopefully we get a pretty good amount of them from this uh, we do need six of them to get like 12 panes, I think. I don't know if you can get panes out of this or if you have to actually leak them into this to get panes out of them. I don't know if you're actually able to craft them. But uh, let's see, once we get these nice and leaked, we can go check that chest where all the hoppers are leading up to and see what- Yeah, 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 look at that, we have clear glass. Are we able to use that clear glass to make panes? <gasps> Ooh, we are! Okay, so we have clear glass panes. That's good stuff! Hmm, let's see, how much more do we have left? Uh, we have enough to get 15 of them, so that's not that bad. Uh, we can get one more round after this, and I think that should max it out. So let's see, that's just cooling down in the casting basin, getting a little bit more glass there. Uh, seven more blocks. Okay, so we have enough for seven more blocks. One, two, 
three, four, and five, six, seven. Okay, let's get let those leak down. And let's make ourselves two more crafts of the clear glass panes. Because this is this is what looks good. It it had it doesn't have those streaks as you can see. It's it's very clear. It only has the border on it. So that's the only indication that you know that there's glass there. And uh looks like yeah, it looks like that's all of it done. And the clear glass is is it all done? Yep, it looks like it's all done. Let's just make sure. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like it's all done. Let's grab all the panes. And let's make two more crafts of this with four left over. There we go. So we're up to one whole stack with 16 left over. Not bad. Let's go throw these at the Emerald Hotel. <laughs> Not literally throw these at the Emerald Hotel. Let's go, uh, let's go put them in the window and see what they look like. And uh, see if they're pretty good. Uh, where are we going to put on this? Uh, where do we put it here? It only makes sense, right? Uh, no, I guess it doesn't connect to those blocks. Whatever. Just, uh, let's get rid of the- Oh yeah, whenever you break them, you actually get the panes back too, so that's really good. Let's put these here, and yeah, look at that, that's what it looks like. Are we able to dye these? Uh, clear, clear, glass. Yeah, I don't think you can dye them. Yeah, it looks like you can't really dye them. They're all just regular clear glass. I guess they wouldn't be straight up clear if you could just- if you can just dye them. <laughs> so I guess we'll just throw in all these panes real quick and see what it looked like. Uh, even though this one would be green, uh, you know, hmm, oh, uh, I noticed this, uh, in End of Earth whenever we had these clear glass things. For some reason, whenever you put them, like, on the sides, they have these random, like, borders right there, you can see. And then whenever you put them on this plane, they shouldn't have those borders, right? No, they do. Why do they have them there? Hmm. They were completely clear. Let's, let's check over here. They gonna have those borders? Well, it's not 100% clear. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at that. Don't have the borders right there, is it? What? I don't know why it's not... I don't know what it's doing. I don't know what it's doing. Maybe whenever I only fill in one side at once, maybe... No, 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 this one has borders too. Or little whatever those are. Hmm. Well, I don't know what that mystery is, but it's pretty mysterious. And uh, we can just get rid of these regular panes right here, which are a pain in the anus. <laughs> and we just fill those in with the, clasp, uh, the clear glass panes and make them look a little bit better, even though they do have these little lines right here. And I really, I, th I think they look a lot better. I really do. And I think I like the, the green on this window specifically in the middle. I think it looks eh, not, not good, but like not bad either. So I guess we can go up, take the elevator all the way to the top there. And uh, let's go up to 77. Instead of just <laughs> just making a big pillar of blocks, we just ride the elevator up here. Very nice and convenient. Let's see, can we MLG place these panes right here? Oh, look at that, we can. MLG Pro, huh? And one right there. Nice. Let's get these two. Uh, 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 uh. And we have this one left. Huh? 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 Two more. Huh? And there we go. Okay, so we got that side nice and done. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see. Is it? Does do they have those dumb lines? No, they don't. Why are they have the lines? They were. Hmm. Whatever. That one still doesn't have the lines. Huh? And I bet if I place them on this. They're going to have the lines, right? They're going to have the lines, and I'm going to feel all sour that it looks stupid, right? Let's see. It's hard to tell. You have to actually, yeah, look at that. They have the lines for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> They're all just surrounded by regular jungle wood. I don't know why they'd have those lines. If you guys know why those lines are there, feel free to let me know in the comments, and if there's a way to, like, fix it to where it doesn't have those nasty lines. Because those lines, they really, they, oh, wait. Oh wait, I didn't even place anything there. I was about to say those don't have any lines, but there's literally no glass over here. <laughs> Still need to place these down. There we go. And I don't know if I want where I'm standing right now to be the ceiling, or if I want to go up one more block. I think I might go up one more block for the ceiling. That way the ceiling's... Uh, whoops! Whoa! Just fell down to my death. Can I summon the elevator to come down? Uh, ooh, look at that! Yeah, that's pretty cool! Nice! What if I'm like standing right here and that elevator like goes... Does it like go through me? Or does it like crush me into the ground and kill me or something? I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. Well, either way, God, those ones have lines too. Uh, as I was trying to show, I don't know if I want to have the ceiling right here or if I want to have it right here. I think I want to have it right here, you know? That way, there's like a one block border around those windows right there. Then if we have it like that, we could probably even put that there and then have an acacia border right here and do something similar to what we did on the... Uh, if you guys watch End of Earth, do something similar to what we did on the Embassy on Embers End of Earth, where we had like upside down stairs, where it went from the second floor to the, uh, the, 
or from the first floor to the second floor. Maybe we can do something like that and give it some good decoration. Hmm. Well, either way, ooh, we can get a pretty good view of the T-Rexes from here. Look at that T-Rex just, well, okay, never mind, he just disappeared into oblivion. <laughs> Alright, well, we can just fill this in with some acacia real quick. Get rid of that crafting station and just see what it looks like right now. I don't know if we want to, what we want to use these upside down stairs. Uh, what we want to use as the upside down stairs, maybe... Maybe acacia blocks, like acacia wood blocks. Yeah, that'd get really expensive if you want to do that, though. But uh, that's what it looked like. Hmm, should it come out one block, though? Instead of using stairs, should these regular blocks come out one block? Hmm, I think that'd look pretty cool. Like if there was like a like a like a hula hoop going around the around the building instead of like a stairs, it'd be like a straight up block. Hmm, let's see what that looked like. If we place that there, place that that that. And then go all the way back to where there's like a an equator around the building. What would that look like? And do that. And I guess since it's going to be the front, we don't want we don't want any of those disgusting lines. Actually, we could do this. Do that, and then do this. That way, it's like a cross section. That way, both. Yeah, that that doesn't look too bad. Let's let's go down to the bottom real quick here in a second. I want to fill this in right here. Uh, not nah, whoops! <laughs> uh, whoops, we only have one piece of acacia left. We don't have enough to make it come all the way out here like we want over there. Uh, hmm. Oh wait, if we do have it like that, we just get rid of these blocks and salvage them. And put them over there and uh, no one's gonna know that they're gone. Now let's grab that clear glass, there we go. And we can place them over here, I need to eat some baked potatoes. I'm gonna be om nom on this deliciousness. There we go. Look at that, my sugar canes already grew back. Well, I guess I did spend a long time on the on the expansion. Of course, they should have grown back by now. And uh, they're going to come out to here. I think one more block. Yeah, 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 one more block. Actually, uh, it'll go out like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can just drop down, take a little bit of damage, and let's go out here and see what it looked like. We do have to fill something in right there, though. Uh, probably... I don't know. But uh, this doesn't look bad at all. I'm like, I, I need to build upwards a little bit more just to see what it looked like. But I do like uh, how that looks right there. Maybe change those blocks into stairs. That way it's not like, uh, that way it's like a little bit pointy-ish. Do we have any stairs? Yeah, we have two stairs left. We can definitely convert those into stairs. Let's just grab them with the dirt and uh, make them into stairs. There we go. And I guess I can just change that one over there as well. Let's just make this a stair block. And how would we do this? Uh, can I just- I'm literally standing on nothing right now. <laughs> I'm floating right here with my fly hacks, hater. Uh, where is- there it is, right there. And we need to place it like- uh, Like that, no. No, not like that. Uh, give me my acacia. My acacia's bouncing on the block, give me that acacia. God, give me that acacia, there we go. <laughs> I may need to come out one more block. Uh, like that, I guess I'll do that, whatever. Let's see. There we go. Alright, let's see how that looks. That's kind of the idea I had going on. Let's see what it looks like from the ground level. Yeah, see, that doesn't look too bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I do need to turn that one into a stair. See what it looked like. Hmm. I probably should have done that while I was already up there. Now I have to go all the way back up there. Where's this dirt? There it is right there. Let's see how it look. I do like how it, like, crosses in like that. That's pretty cool. And we do have one stair left, so if we want to do this again, we'll have to... Make another craft of this stuff, probably out of this jungle wood. But there we go. And let's see what it looks like from the ground. It probably looks pretty good. Uh, that's not that bad. Hmm, I wonder what it would look like if we had the long part on the top instead of uh, on the bottom like that. Hmm, I don't know. Well, either way, I think it, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we still need to get something for that middle block right there, but I think it looks not that bad right now. Uh, let's grab our crafting station. There we go. Uh, there's a little bit of dirt right there. I guess I'll grab a root of that. Let's summon down the elevator, come down to level 68, and uh, what should we do for the second layer? We should, I guess, fill it in with, uh, let's go up to 77, I guess fill it in with some jungle blocks. Hmm, although from the inside it'd look, no, I guess from the inside you wouldn't really notice it. I was about to say, like, maybe I should put something here, but you won't really notice it whenever there's, like, blocks on the ceiling. So let's get our jungle wood, let's turn all of them into plankaroos like that. And get rid of that just to save a little bit of materials. And uh, maybe we'll have a design on the ceiling or something. I don't know. Probably look pretty cool. Anyways, let's do that. Uh, we'll probably need to fill that in like that. Oh, whoops. Uh, did that? Is that still covering the... I don't know if that's still covering the, the thing. Oh, that is. Oh, yep. That's still covering. Why is it on top of the thing? 
Get that off. Wow, did I get my emerald back? I don't know if I got my emerald back right there. Whoops. Oh, uh, there's another stair right there. Do that, and there we go. All right, so I should probably, if I want to put a dirt or a jungle block right there, do that. There we go. All right, and we have an acacia we need to fill back in like that. All right, so this is what the ceiling is going to be, which is also going to be the floor, I guess. Uh, we can always put carpet on top of it. That way it doesn't look like hardwood floors, and it, uh, it'd be a little bit more comfortable on the feet and a little bit less noisy when people were walking around on the second floor going to their hotel rooms and stuff, you know? So uh, let's just fill in the nice little border of this, see what it looked like. Maybe even bring out the digital miner from the nether. And uh, let's see, where does this go? This goes to, yeah, okay, the elevator's right here. So I need to I need to build around this. This is where the elevator's going to be. So, uh, yeah, right here. And here's the front of it. And whenever you walk out, that's where you're going to come out, right there. And I just need to get some more acacia to fill. Actually, no, I don't need acacia to fill that in. Uh, I probably should. No, I don't know. Well, anyways, I'm just going to fill the rest of this in with all the rest of the wood I have. And maybe even go to the nether and go pick up our digital miner. See if it has any more quartz. And then uh, we can program it to mine some of the jungle wood we have here. Because I think all those trees, yeah, I'm pretty sure all those trees over there are jungle trees. So if we go over there and program it to mine down all those trees, I don't I don't even care if it's going to be deforestation, deforestation. <laughs> I don't care. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of our wood right here. Let's just get one row right here. Finish up the rest of the wood that we have left. Oh, wait, we have a little bit left. And we can go back to the nether and pick up our digital miner. Let's see what it looks like now. Now that we have that little bit filled in right there. Oh, that's not that bad. That's pretty good. Let's see what it looks like on the inside with the, with the ceiling starting to form. Yeah, that's... Oof, I kind of like that. I really do. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely should have something on the ceiling to... At least something, you know? So that way it doesn't look nasty, I think? Uh... Hmm... I was about to say, like, what if we used carpenter's blocks and just fill them in with, uh, jungle blocks? And then because they're, they'd be carpenter's blocks, they can, uh, you can put, like, emeralds on the block like that, you know? That way it's like a one-block little panel on the wall, and we could do, like, a design on the ceiling with that without having the same design on the floor of the second floor if you guys if you guys catch my drift right now I don't know if you guys are but uh, that's that's kind of what I have going on here God whoops I need to fix that wall man uh what is where did I even pick up the carpenter block where'd it go where where it, oh there it is <laughs> man I'm blind and let's fill that in uh whoops God I just how do I get rid of that do I just oh whoops what uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, we just get rid of it with the hammer. Nice. All right, so, uh, well, oh yeah, I was going to go to the nether and grab our digital miner. See how many more quartz that has. Probably like a million. I doubt it, though, because we don't have a chunk loader down there, so it's not going to load uh, the, the digital miner getting the stuff, unfortunately. But uh, whenever the water fell down here, I think it might have broken some torches, so let's... Uh, Let's grab our torches and replace down these torches that may have been broken whenever the water fell down here from uh, redesigning the area up there with the quartz. So let's just go to the nether and let's go grab our digital miner and all the energy too. So it's- Oh, whoa, that's nasty lag. I hear a ghast throwing fireballs or something. Something's- I hear a ghast. Oh, I totally hear a ghast. Uh, still mining stuff. Wow, look at all that quartz. I guess we can tell it to stop. We don't really need more quartz. Not right now, at least. We still have a lot of quartz, and uh, we still need to get another modifier for our mandolin cleaver. Should we? Ooh. Should we try and test out the mandolin cleaver? I think it might be able to one-shot Pigman. Do I want to try it out, though? Oh, that Pigman. Oh, he knows. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, two shots him, though. How much How much health do they have left? Uh, one and a half hearts? Yeah, one and a half hearts. Oh, we have a Fez now. Ooh. I kind of want to get that. Come on, get over here, Pigman. Get away. Ah, there we go. Ah. All right. Okay. Okay, we're getting some good damage done with these pigmen. Hey, come on. The only thing about the cleaver is that they're... It is, it is pretty slow. Get away. He's got lapis armor. It's pretty good stuff. Oh, oh we could have died right there. What was that? A pigmen head? I think that was a pigmen head we just picked up. Nice. All right. Uh, anyways, what I was saying, uh, the cleaver is really slow. I think it's like 1.5 times uh, the speed of, regular, of a regular sword, so it's... It's, it's, it, it, it's, it does a lot of damage, but it has that slowdown. Uh, I think it even, yeah, it has mining fatigue. So it's really, it's not really slow, but it's, it's a lot slower than a regular sword and a ton slower 
than a rapier, you know, something that has a really, really high fast attack speed. So, uh, we got all of our stuff, right? We got the, yeah, we got the energy cell that still has 5.6 million RF inside of it, jeez. But, uh, there you go, if we want to get our mandolin to one-shot Pikmin, we still need to, uh, you know, give it another modifier perk and uh, give it another round of quartz, and that is going to bring it up to like 20-something damage, right? Yeah, right now it's at 19 attack damage, which is like, what, uh, nine and a half hearts? Uh, yeah, and most things have 10 hearts, or 11, 12 hearts, or something like that. I don't know, uh, I think we have nine hearts? Is that 10 or nine hearts down there? I think that's, yeah, I think that's 10 hearts down there, so we can almost one-shot another player if he's not wearing armor, so. Uh, I think, uh, because those pigmen were mostly wearing armor, they just had a little bit of extra health whenever I hit them. Uh, let's check up on our mule. Ooh, our mule looks like he's full-sized. Let's see, let's get all this. Yeah, we did pick up a pigment head. What are we going to use that for? Applicable up to redstone. Iguana tinker tweet? Oh, what do you use that for? Hmm, I don't know what you use that for, but let's try and get our mule to be on our side. If we can put a chest on him, and he can do, uh, he can carry some stuff. Come on, mule. Don't be like that. Come on, let us ride you. Come on, mule. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Really? Right there? You love me right there, and you kick me off. You're just like one of your parents. God. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. What does this inventory look like? Uh, I thought you could... Weren't you able to put a chest on him? Do you need to have a saddle on him to put a chest on him? I thought you were able to... Or do you do that for donkeys? I was pretty sure it was mules, right? You know, donkeys only have a slot for a... For a saddle, too. Hmm. I was really sure. Hmm. It might unlock whenever you have a saddle on him. So let's go grab a saddle. Uh, we have an extra iron horde. Wait, what? Uh... Didn't we give Brownie's armor to Skyrim Horse? Is Skyrim Horse in here? Yeah, he is. Where did we get this armor? Did we get it from the nether? We might have gotten it from the nether. Uh, let's see. Didn't we have a saddle? Yeah, there we go. Another extra saddle. And, uh, just in case, let's grab a chest. There we go. And let's see if we can, uh, put some stuff inside of the mule. Not literally. Oh, let's see if he can carry some stuff with a chest. <laughs> let's go put the saddle on him and see what happens. And there's a saddle. And, yeah, nothing happened. Hmm. You have to right-click him with a chest? I was really sure you, you could put chests on mules. Oh, wait, there we go. I just had to right-click him with the chest, and then, uh... Yeah, look at that, there's a little bit of inventory space there. Nice! Wait, could I do that with donkeys, though? Can I just, uh... Can I just take that chest back? How do I take that chest back? I guess he can't take it back. He, he permanently has chests on the side of his butt like that. <laughs> Whatever. Well, there we go. We have a little pack mule right there that can, uh... Haul along some items if we really want to. Hey, how's it going, co-worker? How you doing? And, uh, yeah. Well, uh, what were we doing? I don't even remember what we were doing. Uh, we are doing something with the- Oh, yeah, we came back from the nether with a digital miner. So I guess we can go over here to the other side of the place. And, uh, program it, because it does still have 6 million RF inside of it. So we don't need any more energy. We don't need those windmills. At least not right now. And, uh, we can just program it to mine all this jungle wood. And there's even oak wood right there. Hmm. But, uh, primarily jungle wood, which is what we need for the actual hotel itself. Which is definitely starting to take shape, no joke. But, uh, we should probably put it somewhere in the middle-ish here. And, uh, maybe even towards the north. If that even load in. Yeah, maybe around here-ish. Yeah, there's not that many trees. We can definitely put down a digital miner here. So let's grab the digital miner and get the energy thing. And there we go. And is that, uh, is that feeding into it? I don't know if it's feeding into it. Uh, yeah, it should be. There, that side's orange. So if we start that, uh, let's configure this. We don't need any cobalt. We don't need any emeralds or anything. I don't think that really matters. Or dictionary, if we just do log, is that going to work? Uh, wood, log. <laughs> should probably get the ore to, eh. We can just get a, just cut down this tree. Then we should be able to give it an item stack and it detect what it was. So item stack, jungle wood, Okay, jungle, space, wood. I would have never guessed that. Huh, wood, I've never guessed that. Ah, oh, man, I'm such a comedian. Well, anyways, there we go. Has some jungle wood inside of it. And let's go, yeah, there we go. Let's give it some oak wood as well. Just so, uh, in case there's any oak wood around, we can just use that as well. So let's give a new filter, item stack, and oak wood. And save. Alright, so I don't, think, I don't think we need to prioritize that oak wood, so let's just keep that down there. And it's mining down some trees. Whew. Wow, look at that. It's getting a pretty good amount of wood right now. Not bad at all. Uh, what is this? What is the speed up to? Speed is, uh, five out of eight, so we can give it three more and go up to like ten times, right? Because the 
energy is completely maxed out and it's at 10 times right now. So if we give the speed three more, would it go up to like five or seven, eight? Or would it go all the way up to 10 like the energy? Hmm, I don't know. Well, anyways, this is getting us a pretty good amount of wood. Not bad at all. And we just walk away and I got it. I got to eat some more baked potatoes. And we can just walk away and hopefully, I'm like, the hotel's like right there. Hopefully that'll still load in because I can clearly see the hotel. So if we're over there working on the hotel, these chunks should be loaded in no problem. So let's just go continue working on the hotel, especially because now we have some, uh, some more wood that we can work on the ceiling over there with. And we can try out my little idea to uh, make like a little design on the ceiling using the Carter's blocks. The only thing is, is that it's going to be really expensive if you want to use actual emeralds for it. Uh, I don't know, how many do we, we only have 14 left. Hmm. Should we try and use like lime wool instead of actual emeralds? Or maybe like use diamonds, gold, and emeralds and have like some intricate design on the ceiling or something? Hmm, that'd be kind of cool. Well, uh, let's, let's actually get the emerald, or let's actually get the elevator down here real quick. And let's turn all the jungle wood into planks. And we could fill that area up there all the way in. And then, actually, you know what? Uh, let's get the crafting station out. Let's get ourselves a pretty good amount of carpenter's blocks. There you go, get a pretty good amount of sticks. This should get us eight crafts, which is up to like 40, right? Yep, 40 carpenter's blocks. Uh, I guess I want to put them in the middle-ish. Uh, hmm, do we want to, I guess a two block border here wouldn't be too bad, right? So if we have a two block border here, then we can have a square in the middle which is nothing but carpenter's blocks, or maybe a three block border. Yeah, three blocks should be more than enough. So there's two, two, three. Okay, so we'll just put carpenter's blocks there, through here, through here, right? This will be, yeah, then one, two, three. Okay, this one needs to go out one more block. There you go. Then we can make some intricate design by filling this in with some jungle wood, and then putting something uh, as a little one pixel thing on the bottom of it, as I showed you guys earlier. So here we go. I guess, I don't know, what can we make out of this? Uh, it's, it's like a rectangle right now. I don't know what we can make out of it. Hmm. Maybe just to have some random design using just like going back and forth between diamonds and emeralds and gold blocks and iron blocks maybe, and maybe lapis and redstone and stuff. Maybe make it like look really abstract and colorful using those blocks, maybe? Hmm, I don't know, but we do need some more carpenter's blocks, just a little bit more. So let's, uh, let's use the oak wood. Let's turn those into sticks. There we go. Pretty good amount of sticks. Wow, look at that. And we need, <laughs> I don't have enough planks for once. Usually I have way too many planks whenever I make these carpenter's blocks. There we go, up to 45 carpenter's blocks. Way more than I need. And there we go. And let's just fill all this in, and we can fill it in with some jungle wood here in a bit. And see what it looks like. But for right now, there we go. Uh, I think I'm going to fill in the rest of this as well as this bit here in the middle and I'll see you guys here in a bit. And we can decide on what design we want to put here on the bottom, but I'm going to fill in the rest of this with some jungle wood and I'll see you guys here in a second. Whoa, okay, apparently we just used about 6 million RF mining, like, what was that, like, maybe two or three stacks of, uh, of wood right there? Gee, that takes up a ton. Oh, I totally forgot we had our backpack and we have a lot of stuff we can just store inside of there, so... Eh, I guess I'll just throw up all this garbage we're not going to be using. Clear glass, eh, I'll put that up there as well. Pigment head, I don't need that, but I don't have any room. Don't want to leave that digital miner there to just on. Well, let's just head back to the Emerald Hotel and continue working on it. Actually, we need to go back to the house, grab some redstone blocks, grab some diamond blocks, and uh, I guess some uh, iron blocks as well. And that should be it. I don't know if we have any, if we have any lapis blocks, I guess we'll get some. And we can use that for some blue, and then we can make an intricate little design on the bottom and uh, do a little bit of Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo-ing or whoever did the Sistine Chapel. I don't know who that was, but uh, a little bit of iron. Let's get, to, I don't know, 12 blocks maybe and a little bit of redstone. Let's get like 12 blocks of that. Let's get 12 blocks of everything because we have 14 emeralds and uh, ooh, seven lapis and 14 diamonds. Hmm. Do we have, yeah, we have gold. Uh, we can get a little bit there for there. you go. And I guess uh, I don't know if I want to use this other stuff here, like the bronze and the aluminum brass and the electrum, no, especially not the electrum. The electrum's nice and expensive. I don't know if I want to use that, but uh, this should be enough, right? We have iron, redstone, lapis, diamond, uh, emerald, of course, and gold. 
So let's go over there and let's see if we can make an intricate design, a really, really expensive painting on the roof made out of pure blocks of diamonds, emeralds, lapis, redstone, iron. It's going to be really expensive. Uh, I didn't have enough, so I didn't fill that in right there. But uh, we're going to need to dirt ourselves up to about right here-ish. Uh, there we go. And yeah, 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 this is pretty good. And we need to turn all these into planks and fill this in real quick. All right, I just filled all that in with some uh, some of this jungle wood and I put a little bit of a sliver of wood on the corners just so I know where the carpenter's blocks are. So maybe on the corners we could put, uh, let's get all of our materials down here real quick. So the redstone, the diamond, the lapis, the duh, the, what was that, iron? <laughs> let's get all those down here. And uh, I guess, hmm, in the middle should definitely be uh, ooh, there is no middle there. Is there a middle here? Uh, yeah, there's a middle here. Should definitely be some emeralds. Maybe here, like this? And do that. Maybe like a strip of emeralds? Uh, can we do... What if we did this? Is this possible? Okay, that's not bad. I guess that kind of looks like two emeralds on the ceiling, right? A little bit, maybe. Hmm, I guess I'm trying to force it a little bit too much. Uh, what do we do there? Huh, maybe we can make one emerald. Yeah, because that looks like an emerald. Uh, if we do, let's get the... Let's get the hammer out. Let's replace our hammer with the hammer. Let's grab that back. Uh, where did... Where did that go? Where are, the, where are these blocks going? What? Is that... Are they on the ground? I don't see them down here. Are they up there? I don't know, let's take the elevator. I don't want to lose these blocks of emeralds. They better be up there on the top. And... Okay, okay, they're on the top. Oh. I was about to say, I don't want to lose those blocks of emeralds. Those are expensive. <laughs> let's just go back down to the lobby real quick. And let's get this dirt out of the way. And I guess we can replace our mandolin uh, cleaver real quick. We're, we're not going to be murdering anything anytime soon. So we can get rid of that, no problem. And uh, place this like that. And we can make ourselves a, a big emerald. So uh, let's get rid of that block and that block. And fill in that. So there's an emerald. Actually... Yeah, we should probably put two emeralds here, instead of like one in the middle. What am I doing? Hmm. Well, let's just get rid of all these. There's that. And let's see. Uh, we could put one, like, there. Then, there's the emerald. Then, yeah, 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 we could fit two emeralds here, no problem. Yeah. Alright, we just need to go back to the very top, on the roof, collect our emeralds again, just so they don't, they don't despawn. Hopefully we have enough emeralds to actually get ourselves two emeralds on the ceiling. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see what that'd look like. Let's go back down. Hurry up. Hurry up. And let's fill in the emeralds here. See what they look like. So it's like one block away from the corners. There's that. There's that. So that's what that'd look like. And I need... Ooh, I need two more emerald blocks. But there's an emerald right there on the ceiling. And that's going to be another emerald. I just need to fill that in. But uh, let's see. If we put redstone there. And maybe like that. Put redstone. Oh, whoa. Whoops. What just happened right there? Is that is that non yeah, that's a carpenter's block. I guess because I was holding shift, it didn't it didn't work properly. Then uh, what if we put lapis there? Oh whoops, whoa. God <laughs> come on, dirt. Don't do this to me, dirt. I want to do some artisting right now. Uh, let's place down some lapis lazuli right there and there. And uh, oh god, come on, dirt. Don't do this. Oh uh, god. Okay, let's place, let's go up a little bit, and let's place the les lepis les le right there. And we can place a gold block, maybe there on the top, and do a little bit of that. Yeah, look at this. And then here in the middle, we can have some diamonds, right? It can be like a checkerboard of diamonds. So we can have a diamond, uh, hmm, I don't know. Diamond there, yeah, diamond there on the, yeah, let's do that. Diamonds there. Then I guess we can have iron in the middle. Yeah, iron in the middle, because that's pretty cheap. Then we can have diamonds uh, in the corners, I guess. Yeah, 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 let's have diamonds in the corners. Let's get rid of those. Oh, there you go. Place a diamond block. This is going to be really... This is looking pretty dank already, I'll tell you that much. Let's get rid of that. Come on, can I reach... Oh, there we go. Can I reach that? There we go. Got it. And let's get rid of this. There we go, got it. Place the diamond, and the last corner right there. Alright, there's so much stuff on the ceiling right now. Alright, 
So what do we have? What, what have we not placed down? We I th Yeah, I think we've placed down at least a little bit of everything, so that's good. Uh, God, stupid dirt. How do I keep slipping off? I'm literally holding shift. Hmm. Well, either way, uh, I think that's looking pretty good. Hmm, yeah. Uh, huh, yeah, other than that, that's still really distracting. I need to get two more emerald blocks to fill that in. Uh, I do still have the, uh, yeah, the extreme hills over there bookmarked or a, a waypointed. So I can easily go over there with a digital miner and get a ton more emeralds if I want to finish filling that in. But I guess I can put that there, a lapis there, and do the same thing here. Do that, put a la uh, redstone there. Uh, hmm, yeah, we don't have enough redstone to do that. Or, uh, yeah, we don't have enough lapis to do that. So I do that, that, then put a lapis. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have enough. Ooh. But uh, let's just go down right now and uh, see what it looks like. That actually do not look too bad. I'm like, it's not finished right now, so it's not, uh, it doesn't look 100%. It's not, uh, it's not looking what it looked like whenever it's done. But, uh, oh, that's not even that. Wow. It was only the wood that was up here. I thought there was way more up here, but I guess not. Uh, we still need to finish this little bit right here in the corner. So there's that. All right, so. There we go. I think I'm going to leave it off right here. We got a lot of stuff done this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this 50th episode special. It wasn't quite two hours like I usually do on my specials, but this one had quite the special beginning, so I didn't have enough time to do a two-hour special, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyways. So thank you guys all very much for watching. Ooh, we did get a fez. Let's, let's change our hat to a fez. Uh, there it is right there. Ooh, look at that thing. <laughs> all right, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time. And if you guys are watching up to this point in the video, leave a comment saying, wow, he got an Indominus Rex. That way, if anyone is just clicking on the video and checking the comments without actually watching to the end, they're going to see a comment saying, wow, he got an Indominus Rex, and they're going to get really confused by that. So we're just going to have a little bit of fun on the people that didn't watch up to this point. So just leave a comment down below saying, wow, he got an Indominus Rex, or something along those lines. And uh, yeah, we'll have a little bit of fun in the comments. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. Thank you.